Hello my crafty friends. I want to wish everybody a happy new year. Um, I wish you peace, love, and and good health, of course. Um, I wanted to come on real quick. I know I've been kind of absent and um, share some of the Christmas cards and tags that I received um, from my beautiful crafty friends here on YouTube. Um, I received many more from family and friends, of course, but I don't share those. Um, sorry, I think Journey left me a dog hair in my mouth. <laughs> he was quite affectionate this morning. Anyway, this first card is from my girl, Misty. Um, my paper cups, my paper cuts. Many of you know her here on YouTube. She's a so, so talented card maker tag maker, etc. She sent me um, this card as well as all the tags that she had sent to Jill for our uh, tag surprise and I was blown away and honored and I meant to share them much earlier than today but life has just, you know, been busy as it is for everyone in the holiday season. Um, I had a few more things added to my list but that's totally fine. We got through them. But look at this card, you guys. This card's been sitting on my sewing machine since I received it. I absolutely love getting cards and, you know, displaying them around my room. It brings me great joy. Anyway, she did this die cut of this tree, and there's beautiful glass glitter in the background. She has embossed the background here. And, in fact, when I saw this embossed... Um, background I had to ask her who it was where it came from and I wanted it now and I indeed did order it it's a poinsettia stamp background from Simon Says Stamp she informed me but isn't that pretty and then just the back side with her name on it so beautiful beautiful card and um the sentiment inside is just the same. It says, wishing you the joy of family, the happiness of friends, and the love of Christmas. And Missy. So there is her card. And here, I know you guys, most of you have seen her tags, but these are her beautiful tags. She used foil on this one, and it stands up a dimension, as you can see. She's watercolored this little image. She's watercolored the whole background and splattered it. It's just gorgeous. And then the background says, Hope the season brings you great joy. And I was so honored to receive her tags. And look at the cute little blue jingle bells. She knows that's my favorite color. I love this one all done in blue, of course. With the little cute, cute watercolored snowman. And the stamped and uh, pasted background walking in a winter wonderland and most assuredly we were for quite a while. <laughs> I know that most of you around the country suffered from the heavy storms. Um, my heart breaks for those in Florida from the hurricane as well as uh, those in New York with the heavy snow. Even my home state suffered um, some big snow Dolly left a gift on this one. Sorry, Misty. <laughs> and, um, yeah, just everywhere. There was so much snow and ice. And uh, I'm so glad that it's melting and uh, taking another course um, and disappearing because it was it was not good. But we all made it through it, hopefully. Um, I, uh, I trust that you are all well and have made it through those horrible storms. So, and then the background is just Merry Christmas, and I love, love, love the way that she stamped the background in a gray. It's just beautiful, and then embossed on top of it in this gorgeous navy blue embossing powder. Very, very sparkly. The next tag is what I refer to as a country prim tag. Just gorgeous with the layers these little orange slices from Tim Holtz, the flowers that she makes. Nobody makes flowers like Misty, I'm just saying. Um, she is just a fabulous uh, flower maker and card maker, but her flowers look 
real, the detail on them, um, the distressing, the inking, the way that she does the centers, they're just gorgeous. And I love these pine branches. Misty and I both agree that they are realistic looking. That looks like real pine on there. And then she layered up the Merry Christmas in several layers to give it dimension and oomph and the rusty jingle bells and the pretty ribbon in the bows. Just gorgeous. And then the background of this one says, peace in your heart, love in your world. And I, I hope that for all of you because yes, by all means, we need some of that, don't we? That's just gorgeous. And then of course she had to make a ginger because we all know that Jill loves her gingers. And uh, she's got some beautiful, I think this is um, crinkle organza, if I'm not mistaking. Um, Misty, you'll have to tell me. I think that's what it is. Um, and then she's got a beautiful twine. Her collection of ribbons and twines is something else, you guys. <laughs> she has one for each box for all the holidays. And this cute little jaded blossom gingerbread man um, that she had received in a deez dash. And this cute little stamped background of the heart. I love the plaid paper. I have a big heart for plaids and homespun fabrics. And then it says Christmas calories don't count. Yes, indeed. And you know, I don't even know how I did it, y'all, but I lost weight during Christmas. I did. I don't know how, but I did. And then um, this one, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite type of images is the MFT Pure Innocence. And of course, Misty had included one of those in there. Um, she hates coloring the hair. But these images, to me, remind me of Charlie Brown. And they just, they're one of those things that you just, you know, like, like your favorite images. Um, maybe your favorite images are the Prims. Or maybe your favorite images are snowmen. But I love these little pure innocents because they remind me of Charlie Brown. And um, they just bring joy to my heart. And it says, good tidings of comfort and great joy. And she colored up the little reindeer girl. She's so cute. I love the little stickles on her, on her little nose. And she even glossy accented all of these uh, lights that are in her hair and popped it up with a oval, which just brings more dimension to this tag. And it says, happy holidays. I love the way she did her to and froms. Her tags were, all of your guys' tags were just gorgeous. And I was so, so, so grateful that you all participated in that. And this one, this one was by far my husband's favorite. Um, this was a fan favorite by many. Um, we all love the woods and the trees and and the deer and the way that she did the snow. Now, for those of you that don't know, Misty and I both grew up in Montana. So we are Montana sisters. And things are just done a little differently in Montana. If you've ever visited, you might know what we talk about. But we both lived in an area, well, I didn't personally, I lived in the city, but Misty lived in an area where she would see the deer frequently with snow on their backs and on their ears and their the top of their forehead like this. Um, but I spent many, many moons, I will say, in the woods in Montana, different areas, hunting and fishing with my father. Um, that's what I loved to do. And uh, so we saw lots of deer. We did not get a deer. I'll just, I'll just say that. We did not get a deer together. Um, my dad preferred antelope. But anyway, um, I love the way that she added the snow text. Um, I think it's an embossing powder, if I remember right, to the back of the deer. It looks just like it did when I was there. So this is just, and my husband loves green. And so this has a green background. And he just loved this tag. Um, we did not have a tree up this year, but I can guarantee you that this will be part of our ornaments from year to year. And I love that stamp. That stamp is a tailored expression stamp. It's one I still have on my list, but I am going to get it. And look at the teeny tiny little deer. Isn't that sweet? 
just that super tiny size for the back of your card or your tag. I just love it. And of course, she had to put a pine cone on it because, you know, Misty and I love all things of the woods. Her growing up in the woods and me visiting as often as I could. And then we have Tim Holtz Snowmen. Now, these, I can't believe how many of these she made. Um, but she pieced each and every one of these little scarves together and all these pieces. And I was like, girl, <laughs> I don't know how she has time for it with a full-time, very full-time um, job that she does. But she did. And she's got this beautiful sari silk on here and this really nice cotton twine. Again, she has the collection of twines and ribbons and two little rusty bells in the, in the traditional bell size or uh, traditional bell shape, like the Liberty Bell. And the background paper, I know that background paper, I think it's Echo Park, if I remember right, Misty. Maybe it's uh, authentic. And then the background, she did it again, and she added this gorgeous tonic paper. May you and yours have a wonderful holiday season and a happy new year. I just love the way she did these tags. Each one is so unique, and each one is just as beautiful as the next. She even embossed the background. She puts a lot of detail into her items. So that was the last tag from Misty. And I'm going to stop here because this is a, a getting to be a long video and they get hard to load up. Um, but I'm going to continue with the cards and the tags that I received from my crafty friends. And again, I want to wish you all a uh, Happy New Year. I hope that your Christmas was joyous and that you were surrounded by love of family and friends. And make a happy memory, guys. We've got all 365 days to make happy memories each and every day. And I wish you all just that, happy memories. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.